Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install a VPN on your router so that you can use it with your Apple TVs, all of your devices at once, so your whole house is protected by a VPN by just installing it on your router. So let's jump right into it, and here we go. Right, so if you are going to add a VPN to your router, the first thing that you need to get is actually a VPN. So let's go ahead and get one. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to IP Vanish here. This is the link that I would use. This is my affiliate link. So if you guys wanna help support the channel, this is one way you can do it. It doesn't cost you anything extra. And in fact, you usually get discounts, but let's go here to IP Vanish. So once you're here, what you wanna do is go ahead and just sign up for an account. So you can hit start now if you like, and you can select an account at however you wanna do it. The more, the longer you, the longer you're, uh, you sign up for, the more of a discount you get. But you can try this with, not just with IP Vanish, this will work with other VPN services, but because IP Vanish is what I use, that's what I'm gonna show you guys with. So once you're signed up, we're gonna log in. So I'm gonna to go to the login page. And once you're logged in and you're on the My Account page, what you wanna do is just come here and go to the server list. Now from the server list, we're just gonna find a list of servers that we can use. So you'll see here, it's gonna show all these different servers from different cities and different countries. You'll see the country flag here, and then you'll see the uh, the city that you can have access to and then the server name and then it will show you the capacity of the server so some of these servers have a lot of people on them and you'll see there's pages and pages and pages you can click on there and it will go through all the different um, all the different lists so if you're looking for a particular country you just have to scroll through until you find the one that you want so for me in particular I would like to find a UK server so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to scroll through a couple of pages here until I find the UK, uh, the UK server. So there's a lot of uh, US servers in here because you know the US is popular and people often want to access uh, content and websites in the US that they can't normally access elsewhere. Also, the US is really very, very open. So people often uh, want to access to the US so they don't uh, have any other content blocked. But I'm just going to keep going and looking on here until I get to the UK. I'm just going to skip all the way back here and see, see if we can get past all the US servers. As you can see, there's a whole lot of pages of US servers. So I'm just going to keep going. And, oh, I went too far. Let's go back. Uh, let's see. We can go back to 32. I thought, there we go. There's some, there's some UK servers. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. And these look like they're pretty, uh, you know, the capacities are pretty low. And they all look pretty good. So... I'm gonna go ahead, I'll just choose this one here that says it's a 6% capacity. And I'm just gonna copy that right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy that so that I have the, uh, the server address. Now, what I wanna do from here is actually go log into my router. Now, the way you log into your router is gonna vary depending on the router that you have. Now, I have a Tinder router, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and type in tindawifi.com forward slash login dot html. Now, you'll usually find this information in a couple of different places. You'll either find it on the back of your router, and they'll usually will have a sticker on there, or you can find it in your user manual, or you can find it on the website of the brand of your router. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and hit that right there to go to the login page, and now you wanna put in your password on here, and your password is going to be on that sticker on the back of your router. So whatever router you have, you're gonna put that password in. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my password in right now so I can log in. All right, so there we go. I am now logged in. And so what we wanna do from here, once we're on the login page, what we wanna do is we wanna look for a section here called VPN. So you can see there's different tabs. We have internet status, we have internet settings, Wi-Fi settings, guest network, parent control, parental controls, VPN, USB app, advanced settings, and system settings. So now your, uh, your page may look different depending on your router, and some people may have more, uh, more features, some may have less. So it just depends on the router you're using. But what you wanna do is look for this section right here where it says VPN. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And now from here, you're gonna see different types of VPNs that you can use. You can use PPTP servers, online PPTP uh, users, and you can have PPTP slash L2TP client. So 
This is the one that we want right here, which is the PPTP slash L2TP client. We want this one here. So your, again, your sections and your, and your layout may look a little different depending on your router, but this is what we want right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And if it's off right here, if you see that little tab where it's off, just go ahead and click it to, uh, to turn it on so you can get more information and see the complete layout. And so now that we have that, we wanna go ahead and we wanna make sure that we select the client type as PPTP. So I'm gonna have that there, which is PPTP. And right here, you'll see where it says server IP address, address domain name. I'm gonna go ahead and just paste in that server address that I had used. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. And now right here, I just wanna put in my username and password for the VPN service that I'm using. So I'm using IPVanish. If you're using something else, you can, you, whatever your username and password is to access that VPN, that's what you wanna put in right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my password for that. And once I have the password in there, I'm gonna go ahead and click connect so I can go ahead and connect to the server. And you can see there it says saving and it is connecting right here. You can see where it says connecting. So. We'll just wait till it uh, connects. Hopefully I think it should be connected in just a moment there. And there we go. It says connected and now it shows me um, the obtained PPTP client uh, um, IP address. And so there we go. So now I am connected. And so now I can go ahead and I'm gonna go to like check my, uh, I'm gonna go to my IP address. So we'll click right there and there we go, it's showing my IP address as 185.244.8.179, which is not it. And I can click this right there, and we'll see what it says here. So again, is that's it's giving me my IP address right there, and it is showing that my IP address is based here in the UK, which I am not. You'll see there, it says country UK. I am actually in the US, so that's great. That is what we wanna see. So. I know that my VPN is actually working. So there we go. So it's just that easy. So now you're logged in with your VPN on your router. So now every device that you log into is going to, uh, is going to have that in. So what if you log in with your cell phone or your tablets or your gaming devices, your Fire Sticks, your Apple TVs, whatever it is that you're using, your laptops, whatever you use, when you hook up to that Wi-Fi network that's, that that router's putting out, you're going to have your, your uh, connection protected through that VPN service. So it's really just that easy and it's absolutely fantastic. And as you can see, it's not difficult to do at all. You just need to make sure you have a router that will allow you to put a VPN on it and you need to have VPN service active. All right, so one last thing, and that is if you have a different type of router than I have and you wanna be able to log in and you don't know how, just simply go to Google here and we're gonna go ahead and type in how to log in to your router. And when you type that in, you're gonna see here, it's gonna show this box up top that says access web-based setup page uh, for routers. And you'll notice here, there's gonna show different brands of routers. So if you have a Linksys router, you go ahead and click that. It's gonna give you the instructions on how to log into your router for Linksys. If you have a TP-Link router, it's gonna show you that as well. If you have a Verizon router, you can check that. Cisco, you can check that there. Netgear, you can check that there. So there's all kinds of different ones. There's a Technicolor one, there is a two-wire one, there's a Hitron. Uh, Zhone, um, VSAT, so there's all kinds of different routers in here that you can use and uh, you just need to log in. Now you do need to make sure that your router supports a VPN. If it does, then you can uh, use this, just Google how to log into your router and then you can get the instructions, log into your specific router and then you can put the same information in that you use for your uh, VPN service and you're up and running in no time. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a look at how to install a VPN on your router. And this is a really nice way of making sure that all of your internet connected devices in your home are protected. So you can have this connected to your phones, to your tablets, to your gaming consoles, to your streaming boxes like your Fire Sticks and Fire TVs and Apple TVs and Nvidia Shields and everything else. If it's internet connected and it's connected to the router that you install the VPN on, 
then your device will be protected. So now the other nice thing about this is, is that if you have a service that only allows for a certain number of simultaneous connections, the router connection counts as one, everything else that is connected to it does not count. So if you have 15 devices in your house that are connected to your router, that is only gonna count as one connection because it's only connected to your router. So there you go. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For this, uh, for this particular video, I used IPVanish, which is the VPN that I use the most. And so I'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description so that you guys can check it out and get some really deep discounts on there if you're interested in signing up. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page, as I always do, so you can see all the products that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.